with the the dream rob that basically uh, became summit well i think initially what happened was even before i came on as a team member was west mount park church realized that they had to figure out what they were going to do with growth they were growing and their sanctuary wasn't able to fit everybody like it was before would they go to a second service how would they accommodate growth and then the idea of church planting came up uh, through a, a number of different avenues and and what was decided was why can't we plant a church and why shouldn't we plant a church instead of trying to fit more people into this building how can we uh, as a community now take this and, and reach out and branch out and and try to see more people have brought into the kingdom through a church plant. Yeah, so in light of the vision that God gave you then, uh, what's been the basic strategy for planting the church? Well, I think the basic strategy has changed, uh, especially in the last two and a half years since I've been here. I've seen uh, that we've kind of resembled the second service meeting at 4 o'clock at West Mount Park Church to now being in our new location at Father Redmond. Uh, we're a, a house church, city church hybrid. So we put all of our stock and programs into our house churches. We don't run a lot of programs out of our, our city church. So uh, our evangelism, discipleship, uh, community impact and outreach, each house church is responsible to partnering with someone or an organization in our community to go and, and share the love of Jesus Christ. Uh, but we want to also come together on Sundays, which is really a celebration of what takes place uh, during the rest of the week. We come and we worship God and we, we praise God and we learn about uh, what his word teaches and then we take that and apply it into the context of our house churches and what are some things that you see god doing these days in summit well i mean the biggest thing that we've seen is we've been looking for a location and, and right behind me is is where we've been meeting for the last month and a half now at uh, father redmond high school uh, we looked all over the city for different places and uh, pricing and accommodations were very very difficult and uh, by God's grace, we were led here, and, and we now uh, pay $25 for a day. And uh, we have a beautiful accommodation right by the, the Humber campus as well. And we're hoping to see, uh, really, us plant in this area and, and begin to develop relationships with Humber campus, uh, as well as uh, the mix of people that are surrounding us. So we're hearing a little bit about what you're hoping for, um, and maybe that's part of the answer to my next question, which is, what are you asking God for these days as a church? Well, we're about to do our official community launch on April 18th. And uh, really a big uh, thing that we're looking for is how are we going to be impactful in this new community? What is it that we can actually bring and, and reach out with? Uh, as far as our church structure goes, things are going very well. And, and we're very encouraged to see what God is doing and continuing to do. But now we, we clearly don't want to just fall into a new rut and we want to be pushed and challenged to go and, and reach out to our community. So uh, the biggest thing we're hoping for is to establish more house churches so that we can now have these, these community uh, groups and cells throughout, uh, throughout the city and throughout Mississauga as well. And we're hoping that these house churches will then go and impact their immediate community so that we can come together and have a reason to celebrate on Sundays.